The legions realized that the child would come forth instead of their beloved Bethrazen, was the Empire's sole heir, a boy named Uther. A decade ago, the Forsaken God had chosen this being as the receptacle for his foul spirit. When the infant emerged from the infernal rift, trees bled and the soil rotted beneath his feet. As the child glared deeply into their cursed souls, all demons present knew that this was Bethrism. None understood why this was, but there was no time for questions. Undead hordes were attacking. The stench of death... Alright, uh... The legions had to the stream appears to have uh, cut out for a second there. My internet get a little hiccup. But it's back up now, fortunately. That was a bit uh, annoying. To have a... Uh... Alright, so now we're doing a second mission of the Legions of the Damned Saga, and this one is actually a... Again, we're playing as the... When we were playing the Undead uh, Saga earlier, we had a mission where we had to stop Bethrazen from re retreating, but now we're actually playing Bethrazen in the Demon Campaign, and we'll have to actually make his ex escape succeed. So we'll be playing the same map, with the same geometry, with the same units, but as the other side, which is pretty cool, if I say so myself. My cohorts, I am still weak. We must flee for now, but next time we encounter these lifeless troops, we will crush them. Yes, Master Betrazen, our troops are waiting for us up north. We must hurry to reach them before the undead attack. Come with us. We will ensure your safe passage. And there's the undead. The Nasrat. It will not be so easy. You are surrounded, demon infant. Give yourself freely. It is the end for the legions of the damned. And Beth Rezan. For your arrogance, you will die once more. I retain some of my powers. Attack cohorts. <sighs> Beth Rezan just dropping a couple nukes on those undead. Like a boss. <sighs> right on, well, now this will be a little bit of a fun mission to play, of course, fun being, uh, I guess, relatively uh, relative term. Sadly, we have not, we don't have enough gold. But I think in this map, we're actually going to try to get a Fiend, which is a Legions of the Damned special unit. The Fiend hides misshapen form within a labyrinthine lair. If you can resist its furious attacks, it's a giant goat. We will try to recruit that one of those. But for now, we shall go with another Gargoyle for our mage, because so far, Gargoyle has been working out really well for us. And. I'll also grab a Berserker and this Cultist over here. And shall we? We shall go forth. Goats and gargles, yes, indeed, goats and gargles. Now, for Bethrazen, I'm not particularly concerned because you will see uh, Bethrazen in battle. He He's going to kick so, kick so much ass that I'm not worried about him in the slightest. He get absolutely just uh, annihilated in the next second, but... Let's see. We are going to just kind of start moving him in this direction. I guess... Uh, we can't really get reach there, can we? 
And we'll go over here. Kill, kill these orcs, maybe. This goblin archer is meh. No. What shall we do with our mage hero? If you remember correctly, it's a whole party fireball with a side throwing of paralysis. No, not quite. It's not a whole party fireball, but it's it does have a side of paralysis, so it's incredibly toasty indeed. It's a single target fireball, but it's nonetheless incredibly terrifying. As the paralysis is multi-turn. Uh, shall we just wait, I guess? I'll just move him over here. It would be wise to ensure our master's safety before we explore these lands. Okay. Well, cannot proceed past these any of these parties without attacking them, so we'll just have to wait and survive this first onslaught of the undead hordes. And maybe learn a spell or two. How about Incantaria Hellhound? Illudere. Yes, indeed. I love me some illusory hellhounds. Big ol' fire doggos. Let's uh, kill these thugs while we're at it. Dia Sinestra, or Kia Sinestra, or whatever. Wait. You shall wait. Kaboom. Satan has incinerated them all. Very good. Alright. Well, not much we can do on this turn, so let's just wait. See what the undead have in store for us. Martis wants your soul! Ah, well, we don't have any souls. We're demons, you know. Uh, luckily, they're already damaged, so we are not going to have too much trouble with them. And this is a Bethrizen. He has a double attack. Double fireball plus paralysis. With an initiative of 60, so he's like an archer. With a whole bunch of exp HP. 425 HP. So he's a tanky boy. Boom. And he dead. Uh, let's uh, also kill this. And the zombie's paralyzed now. Ouch. And that zombie's dead. Boom. Easy as pie. They are just gonna charge all of our units in a rather suicidal manner. That's fine. I'll just let them have it. Oh, this is not even a challenge. Really, this is meant to kind of wear you down. Kind of an unavoidable battle. It's a bit harder in the original game because Bethrizen only has a single attack per turn, so one of your units will probably die. Maybe both of them, but... Uh, this is easier, fortunately. Yeah, he's just massacring them. Bethrizen was attacked by like 10 parties, as you can see. And he did just fine for himself. Let's pick up the scroll. And, uh, well, shall we go with a double gargoyle? Ah, we wanted to go for Fiend, that's right, never mind. But before we go for Fiend, of course, we're gonna have to see who's upgrading someone as a cultist. So we have to upgrade the cultist this time around. Build the occult abbey for some sorcerers. Some saucy sorcerers. And kill some goblins as well. Ouch. Depend. Oh, 
Okay, that's fine. Beautiful. Right. Well. Beautiful. Oh, got a specter. How spooky. That's fine, though. It's entirely fine. Let's uh, use Bethresden to capture this town while we're at it. And build this unholy portal so we can get the fiend as quickly as possible. And. Uh, ow. Ow. Rude. Very rude. And we'll just skip that battle because it's fairly inconsequential. Our scouts have spotted the undead everywhere on these lands. Bethers and must be protected from harm. Mm. That's fine. We shall protect Bethersen. Quite effectively, I dare say. Or of Earth. Is that completely useless? Why even use that? I don't know. On oh, a piece of trash. Ow. Stop shooting, actually, Satan. Ah, uh, just a bit short. That's fine. Aha! Uh -huh. And there's a first sorcerer. A saucy, saucy boy. A sausager, you would say. Perhaps. <laughs> well. Now, of course, we have to find some way to gather enough gold for a fiend. Might be a bit difficult. Ah! What's this? That's a banshee. A saucerer indeed, yes. A very saucy one. Well, that's a bit... Uh, fuck, we don't even have enough movement points to reach her. Rather annoyingly enough. Wow. That is a... Oh, we don't have gold for the thief either. What am I doing? I'm a... I'm a dummy. <laughs> I am a dummy. I'm a mage lord, of course. Let's use a hellhound to scout it out. What kind of troops she has? Oh, wow. Oh, Christ. So much for the hellhound, it's dead. Shall we risk another Hellhound? I'd rather not let her get our uh, gold mine there. There is a Death Mana source there. Very nice. Mm. I say yes. Let's, uh, let's move over to her. Maybe she will get spooked by our mighty, actually, Satan. Ah, uh, yeah, she did. She got absolutely spooked by Satan. Now, this is uh, another party chasing Uther there. Absolutely inconsequential as well. Bethersen was attacked. Yeah, he did. He did get attacked indeed. But it's fine. It's fine. Now. Shall we risk attacking her with actually Satan? Okay, we've we'll, we'll, we'll got this in the pocket.
Ow. I don't like that out of this. Alright. All right. Let's uh, check out on Satan. He's doing fairly well for himself, although he might get a second gargoyle soon enough. And for that, we're going to take care and build a spire. Thug Master of Arms, Master of Arms. Uh, sure. Let's take on those boys. Need to find some uh, source of money soonish. Unfortunately, we don't. We really have an easy access anywhere for the set set of money. Hmm. And we need a uh, Rock Planter to capture that mana. Again, not getting that anytime soon. With our income, sadly. Let's see. Uh, let's send actually Satan after these thugs and a man at arms. They should be fine, I think. Oh, did get you to defend. Oh, Christ, really? Fucking hell. Alright, there we go. Ouch, that poor gargoyle. Getting gargled left and right. Okay, we got a gold mine over here. Gold mine. And death mana. Ruin. Right. Wow. We're gonna be doing something funny with Bethrazen, you will see. Uh, it's a bit of a cheesy tactic that I love to do on this in this demonic saga. It's just absolute mega cheese, and we're gonna be having a lot of fun with it as soon as we get enough gold. Of course, not an easy task, but totally doable. Should be. Uh, let's see. Oh, defend, uh, yeah, defend. Ow. Yeah, you defend. Christ, really? Ouch, that poor gargoyle. Getting beat to... Alright, uh, let's... We aren't gonna blo go in blindly, after all, but let's check it out. Check that ruin. Oh, no, 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 we're not going in there. Fuck that. <laughs> oh, boy. Screw this noise. Maybe? Actually, maybe we have a chance. Uh, we might have a slight chance, sure. Ow. Ow. Alright. There we go. Marble Gargle. That's turn 7, too. V very nice. And uh, Potion of Strength and some gold, lovely. Uh, I don't want to kill these spiders yet because they are a good source of XP for Bethra's and I want to waste them or for his party rather. So we're gonna move him back to town for our in preparation for our plot, our evil, evil, sneaky plot. The next turn.
that you will see what I'm talking about. Maybe. Alright. Surrender to us, demons! Do you imagine that you will escape these lands? I love the necromancer's outfit. He's got like such he's got just, he's such a stylish man. He's got little skulls on his necklace. He's got a big old man bun. <laughs> some some facial tattoos. He's like he knows how to style it. Oh, this Bethrosen's picture is for some reason slightly different. No one defies Bethrosen. I have not waited ten years for freedom just to fall to the likes of you. That's a. Uh, he doesn't look like that at all, my friends. What are you talking about? Yes, uh, sir. Uh, yeah, we have enough for soul keep. Let's do it. Let's build the soul keep and get ourselves some cultists. Actually, we can only get one. That sucks. Uh, right, we'll, we'll wait for next turn then. <sighs> Bloody hell. Actually, let's move him over here. I'll capture this down. I should have done this from the start. Oh. Uh, Archer. Uh, all of them fairly doable. All of them. So, that's fine. Our next goal is, of course, this Temple of Grief. So we can get the special unit fiend. Very, very cool boys. Those fiends. But uh, getting the gold is a problem. Ow, ow, very rude. Very rude. Hella rude. And let's research some spells while we're at it. Such as Tormentio, indeed. Dormant them, heck out of them. Okay, Uther. You can grab this chest. Oh, Potion of Restoration, very good. Uh huh, just as I remember it. There we go. His OP paralysis comes to play again. Right. My clan will not forget your treacherous attack on Gimner. You will pay for your arrogant treatment of the High King's son. Mmm, nah. I don't think so. Oh, so many valuables. A cult arms scroll. Oh, that's awesome. <sighs> that's really awesome, but. Bleh. Oh, shit, that's a pretty, pretty nasty party there. Uh. Bleh. Well, uh, I dare say we are going to have to Christ, are they peasants? Bloody peasants, I swear. Right on. Oh. Okay, so now. Ah, uh, hell. Nah, nah, whatever. We can start working for our evil ploy with Bethrazen. To great effect. Rather soon. I keep saying that, but it keeps uh, being a bit difficult. Uh, Right, where shall we go now? Orcs. And archers? Bloody archers. Always the bloody archers, of course. Hmm. Oh. Uh -huh. Archer, thug, peasant. Goblins. Pretty worthless in terms of experience, of course. Send a scout this way, just so we can see what the... 
what the undead are up to. Oh, they are expanding. Oh, they have a town here right under our bloody nose. Very scary. I'd rather not uh, test my luck there. But uh, yeah, now we can finally... Um, maybe not now though, but eventually. Oh, damn it. You know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just like, this town is so small I cannot hire other units there, unfortunately. Which is annoying. Uh, right. I'm being indecisive here. Incredibly indecisive. Let's uh, just kill these boys. Shouldn't be anything. Oh, Christ. Of course they miss. Let's end the turn on this. On this lovely note, let's end the turn. They're almost uh, almost done there, I think. Let's just take out these orc. This unpleasant orc. End. Ah, good, very good. Now you can do this. Uh, exchange this and head here. And there we go. Now, Betherson has a party of all caster units. Why? You might think that's very silly. But there is a good reason for that. As you will see later. This is going to be incredibly cheesy. And I hope you love cheese. Oh, he, this thief just provoked this demonic infant to a duel. Not very smart of him, not at all. Well, that went about as expected. <laughs> oh, you... Foolish. Foolish, foolish. A for effort, indeed. Oh, Christ. What did uh, just happen? The Discord decided to reboot. Not, uh, not ideal. Right on. So... The thief just reenacted <laughs> the son of <sighs> Yeah, kind of. He really did. Well. He got a face full of nukes, yes. So the reason why I preserved all these powerful melee units is because we can do this with Beth Rizen. And now we have a Betherson and three sorcerers on the back row. And let me check, did we actually build the... I did. And now we also take on this giant spider. So much burning. Fire everywhere. And there we have it. A doppelganger. 
A doppelganger has the unnatural ability to shape its form, thereby confusing any foe. Oh, his foe, rather. Well, any foe as well. So, you can see where I'm going with this, can you not? Ah, yes, you can. I suspect you can indeed. And we actually might have enough. Oh, we're not. No, we don't. I'm gonna have to hire a different hero soon enough. Demon. Let's just because we have it. Let's use this to. Let's attack these goblos. To upgrade our uh, demon. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Got a gargoyle and a demon. Just like in the. Just like the good old times of Mission 1. Now, oh, we have some movement of oh, the undudes, the undead dudes, and now we have Bethrizan in his final form. So, as you can see, doppelgangers have very high initiative. They always go first in any battle, regardless of who else is present. And uh, they can polymorph into any unit that's single spaced. So, like, they can polymorph into the spider, but they can polymorph into the sorcerer, or they can polymorph into Bethrizen. Ta-da! And now we have two Bethrizens. Look at this nonsense. It's bloody amazing. If you think this is uh, incredibly overpowered and broken, yes, it is. It is utterly mind-bogglingly OP. Pretty much an absolutely just eye wing cheat. Ow. I can just skip this battle because it is rather inconsequential. Yes, Lufusus, it's absolutely uh, balls to the wall overpowered. Just completely... completely OP. Yeah, it's very, very silly that they let you do this in this game, but... I think it's pretty much this is the only reason why doppelgangers even exist in this uh, in this game is so we can duplicate better than in this campaign. All right. Yeah. Oh, we have enough gold to build the Fiend upgrade. Now we also need to actually have enough gold to buy the friggin' Fiend, which we don't have yet. Ah, <laughs> uh, money. Money is hard. Who even... Who even has money? Money is... OP. I don't like money. Orc, Orc, Goblin, Goblin, Archer. Meh. 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 Let's uh, just let's just head in that direction with our scout it out a bit, so we don't run into a trap. So it's just a bunch of orcs here. That's fine. Spearmen, archers, well, hate that. I don't like that at all. Ooh, some undead. A whole lot of undead here. So we gotta be careful there. Very careful.
Of course, our, our main goal is to get uh, Satan level ups. So he's uh, no longer level 3 and start, stop sucking as much. But, uh, you know, Bethrazen is our uh, sort of a mainstay for now. He's so overpowered that we're just gonna. We're just gonna, like, abuse that notion profusely. Ah, the undead are moving in. Ooh, oh my. Oh me, oh my. That's a little actually a bit concerning because. Let's check it out. What kind of army they have. Okay, so that's actually not too bad. We can actually handle this fairly easily. I think. Main problem being that, uh. Gonna take a bit of damage, but should be fine. Let's see. Oh, this is a bit scary. Uh, this is not too scary. Oh, this is fine. This is somewhat uh, spooky. Just very mildly spooky. More uh, scouting here. More scouting. I love the Hellhound Delusions. They're so incredibly strong for scouting. Very cheap. Last multiple turns. It's almost too good. Almost too good. The Death Dragon is gonna do a lot of damage. The Orangs are gonna do a lot of damage. Actually, I'm gonna meet them in the town, just in case. If they decide to attack. And if they don't, we're gonna take them out with Bethrazen. What's in this hideout? Let's check it out. It's an ogre and two goblins. Nothing to be concerned. Ouch. <laughs> Very rude. But, uh, sure, let's do it. He has no chances at all. <laughs> it's just... It's just a... Absolute, like, massacre. 100 gold, summon living armor, very nice. Ah, now we have three doppelgangers with Bethra's in. So, yeah, next turn, four Bethra's and parties. Four, four Bethra's and party, rather. This is, uh, this is it, we've hit big cheese. Maximum Gouda. Or is it here's pronounced Gouda? I don't know. I don't understand. Cheese is, cheese is hard. Doppelgangbang. Yes, doppelgangbang. Pretty much <laughs> maximum over cheese. Ooh, that uh, got some nasty. Ooh, ooh, gosh, werewolves and undeads and uh, undead werewolves. Very scary. Well, uh, let's see. Uh, Herbethrazen, indeed. Herbethrazen. Indeed. Can we actually reach her with our Bethrazen, though? Mm, we are just a little bit short. Ah, uh, sadness. Sadness. Sadness and... Uh, ah, but we can get a fiend. Let's do that. We were planning to get that uh, last turn, I think, but we were a bit short on money. As you can see, fiend is a bit... Uh, a bit weaker than the de demon in terms of raw damage, but uh, he's gonna make up for it by having poison, which is absolutely great, just fantastic stuff. Poison is great. All right, and uh, I'm gonna cast a few debuffs on this lady. 
maybe send another thief at her. This guy is a bit scary. But maybe we can take him out. I suspect we can. Just a little bit. Let's take out the Auron in the lab. Gonna take a bit of damage from the. Oh, jeez. A bit of damage, I say. 90 damage. Wow. Ow. But, ah, eh, not really worth it. Actually, Satan got a level up, and the Gargoyle and the Fiend got a massive amount of XP, so. That was worth it. Pretty worth it, I say. Pretty worth it. And uh, so we don't leave this town undefended. Let's uh, put something in there. Um, Christ, that's not good. A bit concerning, actually. Uh, hell. I'm gonna do a bit of good old blockage there. Ah, oh, Christ, we can't do that. Fuck. I'm suddenly very concerned about uh it should be okay. He'll have to waste his movement points in order to get to us, so he probably won't reach us. Let's just use Bethers in for now to proceed over here. And uh, this is it, this is like <laughs> This is pretty much a winning combination. Absolutely, just... Pretty much for everything. Oh. Dead. They did. Let's see what the undead do. Undeads. Undudes. Undude dudes. The unduders. Oh, he discovered a spy. Very rude. We want that spy. Right. Artifact lore or travel lore? Mmm. Or Banner Bearer. Ah, uh, it's all very tempting, actually. I'm gonna go with uh, Artifact Lore, because I have an Artifact lying around. Artists orders you to die, demons! Submit now, and she may be merciful! What business does Mortis have with me? Your threats become tiresome. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, right. Well, uh, I think we're gonna leave Petherzen sort of to his kind of a patrol duty over here so he can deal with the undead hero parties. Kind of a defender. And we'll go earn some XP for our main hero in the meantime. Rude. Very rude. Oh well. That's fine. We're gonna have to hire another hero soon, just so we can get a hold of that mana. I think probably next turn. Sounds like a good idea. Yes, uh... 
Well, this this particular town has a slightly better army than usual, and so we got a baroness, and we'll name her Flufusus. Lufa Success. Lufa Success. Give her these. Uh, demon and Berserk her. And send her after this uh, infernal mana that we need. And possibly then later to clear out some other units where we can. Where we can. Well, we can. Lufa Success, yes. The Flufas. Probably should have called her a Flufast, but Flufast is also good. And we will engage these boys with Bethrazen. Absolutely. I'm just running a quick battle because it doesn't really matter. Once you once we get three doppelgangers with Bethrazen, there is basically almost nothing that can stop them, realistically speaking. So It's pretty much just uh, absolute. Maximum over cheese. Let's attack these uh, hill giants there. For some delicious XP. Good. Actually, Satan getting some XP. Mm -hmm. Got some undead boys coming in on our flank. Being rather obnoxious about it, might I say. Which is fine. We will certainly do something about that. Infiltrate Spy is... Oh, bloody hell, look at this bad boy. Two shades, a werewolf, and he's level 5. Ouch. Yeah, yeah this is why I left... This is why I've used these cheese with Bethrazen and Doppelgangers, because... The undead have some really, really nasty armies to throw at me. Like, when I was playing the undead saga in this mission, I didn't have this many high-level armies, but, you know, the AI kind of doesn't give a fuck. It will just throw everything at me, including the kitchen sink, of course. Can't reach that quite yet, sadly, which is obnoxious. Can't reach this banshee though. Wow, it's a level three banshee too. Wow. The AI gets so much XP for free in this map. Okay. Yeah, there we go. But they got double gang banged. Double ganged and gang banged. Flufas goes east, and Satan goes south. Got some rocky boys here. Bit of a bit of, a, by the way. Ow! Very rude. Ow! Wow, that is a lot of damage. Whew. 
That is a oh, that is a rather high level giant. That's why he's so strong. Mighty strong. Which is fine. That polar bear is giving me a bit of a concern though. I'm not not confident in my ability to handle it just yet, so I'm gonna wait. Turn, regenerate a bit of a health. And uh, maybe learn some magic to weaken it up, actually. Yeah. I forgot I can do that. I'm a mage lord, maybe. <coughs> Whatever. Duel. Ha <laughs> ha. A duel by the thief. Of course, went all around the map to attack my thief. Oh, you foolish, foolish undude. Foolish, foolish undudes. Oh, uh, well. Let's give them some bethers in time. The only reason I'm not pressing quick battle automatically is because I want to make sure they all uh, polymorph into Bethrizen, because sometimes the automatic battle decides that they should polymorph into a level 1 ghost or something and, you know, have 60 HP and die instantly, because the AI is retarded. Right. You put this rod down here, stick that big rod, oh, hey! Uh, looks like Satan has company there. Actually, Satan. Oh shit! Bit of a bit of a party party there. Can we actually handle them? Uh, I think so. Probably, possibly. Yeah, with luck, we should be able to. <laughs> oh, watch me get up destroyed by a rock planter. Uh. I have no money. Sorry, no potions either, so... It's a bit spooky. Huh. Okay. Okay, perfect. Ah, Christ! Damn it. Damn it. How unfortunate. We lack the money to upgrade the gargoyle. Very unfortunate indeed. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> ah, damn it. The gargoyle's dead. That's fine. But the fiend leveled up, though. So now, it does 110 damage and 20 poison. And this is only gonna get... Better. That's fine, we have a life potion to resurrect the gargle. Just in case. I don't think we're gonna get attacked by anything on this turn now, so. It's fine, we'll uh the gargle was like full on XP anyway, so we'll upgrade it next turn and it will hopefully level up into something nice. Okay, the Fluffus has planted planted her massive rod in this ground over here, which is nice. Oh yes, baby. The big rod that you planted. Stick it in. That big old rod. Oh my god, so many undead. Just kind of swarming. Ugh. 
Right, so. Well. So. Let's send the Flufuses to take out some uh, orcs over here. While we're at it, and build uh, the obsidian, the onyx spire. Yes, uh, you can uh, interpret it as how you wish. Big ol' onyx spire. Big ol' fat onyx spire. There we go. And now we have a onyx gargoyle, which is incredibly cool looking. And uh, one hell of a strong unit with enormous amount of armor and lots of cool spicy abilities. They are quite badass, in other, in other words. Now... Uh, this boy, though, Zithar, is, I think, going after our, actually, Satan, which is very, very scary, because his army is absolutely nuts. So, I hope he actually doesn't have the movement points to get all the way to us, because if he does, we're just bloody fucked. But, oh, we can reach him with Beth Resent, so that's fine. Let's do that. Oh, he got a whole ooh, quicksilver potion. That's lovely. This, this will go to actually Satan to drink. And I just realized I forgot to actually give uh, actually Satan that artifact that we that we uh, learned how to use. So he has it in his inventory, but he forgot to take it in his hands. Oh, foolish Satan, why are you so silly? Christ, he's... coming in strong on me here, the bastard. That's fine. Right, Lufasus, you can kill this orc. While we're at it. Ow. Perfect. Good job, Flufusus. You petrify them all with your mighty rod. Staff of Thunder, lovely. That can go straight to the what's his face. Straight to Satan. Straight to Satan. Oof, it's a big bear. Fortunately. Yeah, wow. Very big strong bear. Ow. Ow. 98 experience, not bad. Actually, Satan is about to level up again. Very good. Alright, well, meanwhile, we're gonna do this over here. Ah, Christ. Steven Armana, you jerks. Unacceptable. Yes, unacceptable indeed. Christ, look at them.
right. I have to scout out a bit more territory here because getting some uh, unpleasantness. A whole lot of unpleasantness, in fact. Oh, Christ, there's like one right here. A phantom appears before you. All oh, who enter Mortis territory shall feel her powers. Ah. This is the only passage to the north, Master. The undead armies are awaiting us. We have no choice but to fight them. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Don't care. Alright. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Satan, or where do you go? Kill some wolves. Satan. Kill some wolves. Ah, another level up for Satan. Then I'm gonna remember to put his artifact in his hands finally, maybe. Increases leader's damage by 15% and grants a chance to, chance to poison the enemy. Lovely. Very, very good. We'll have to see about that, shall we? Ow. Ah, hey, hey, it did. Poison this dwarf. Very nice. Christ. A gargoyle is taking one hell of a beating. Dang. It's a good thing it's so incredibly ridiculously tough. They were not prepared to face the veterans in cheese. Quadruple veterans in madness. Eh, we're gonna send you over here. Uh, I think that's fairly safe to do. Ow. So just take out this boy here and this fella here. Ow. Ow. Perfect. Petrification on both. Oh, Christ, we forgot to build an upgrade structure. Huh. Oh, silly me. Silly me. And just in case, we're gonna hold a hellhound over here so that they don't try to ambush Flufusus or other Flufusus S. A really bad ruin there. <laughs> oh Christ, they're stealing all of my stuff. Very, very rude of them. Oh Christ. Jerk. Okay, actually Satan gained another level, we're gonna give him Banner Bearer because this map has a banner. Maybe even two banners actually, I'm not sure. And we want them banners, we want those banners. Oh, lots of scary as hell units there and here and everywhere. Aha! Success! Please help me, friends! Bring this totem in the chest beside me to my tribe! They will reward you! Wow, okay. One Agus... 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 
Agrishliska told him. One, one Agrishliska told him. Ah. Yes. Love me some Agrishliska totems. Thank you. Perfect. Just what I wanted. An Agrishliska totem. Ooh. It's a rock giant and an axe thrower. Yikes. Emerald. And an ointment. Let's do this. I can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Now? That's cool. Nice. Whole ton of XP. Awesome. Oh, goblin orb. Mmm. That's a real treasure. Oh, actually, no, the real treasure was the friendship. Ah, anti paladin. Ooh, kick ass. Gobble, gobble. Yeah. Flufasus is gonna gain a level soon as well, which is nice. Because we need Flufasus to start. Yanking these rods, and yes, I the in, the innuendo is intentional. We want we were gonna make Flufasus yank all those rods, pull on them, on those poles, tug them. All right. Lewd. Yeah, very lewd, indeed. God. I'll have to move this is over there. And, uh, let's see, can Satan reach anyone here? Satan is too far away, so that's unfortunate. Might need to bring back Siegfried again. Siegfried the Counselor. Or does or secret? Do we want to be a uh, a duke this time around? Ah, oh, shit! It's just like a swarm of undead. I don't know who to attack first, honestly. Ah, look at these. Okay. Oh, nice. Need to start learning some spells as well. Just like, no, oh, it's this Manta Potence, for example. And, uh... I don't know what you're saying about it. I don't know what, what's so lewd about this, honestly. It's perfectly non-lewd, trust me. I know what I'm talking about. All right. And what do we have here? We have a shop. We do need to reach a shop, preferably sooner than later, but that's a fat big no, because we are just nowhere near any shops whatsoever. Dude, talents. Ah, oh, Christ. <laughs> I forgot we cannot actually attack them with illusions. Uh, very silly of me. Let's see. The undead have already looted everything here. Unsurprisingly, being the undead hordes, they are. The undead whores. 
Uh -huh. All right, the banshees are moving away. Now that they're, now that we've put the fear of Flufasus in them. So let's see. Let's just keep murdering things with Bethra's end. And uh, let's see. Oh, that's right. We have a. Keeping of the clans. Ooh, very nice. Stone rain, also nice. All right. Can we do this? We can probably do this. All right. Let's uh. Kaboom. Nice. Ah, this is a good artifact, I gotta say. Oh. Oh, that's right. Werewolves are immune to weapon damage. I just remember that. <laughs> so the fiend is not a great choice for that, I'm afraid. Oh well. That's fine. That is fine. We got ourselves a cheese machine of one shots next to Bethra's end, so. Uh, let's just keep exploring the map, I guess. I wonder how not. Bloody banshees everywhere. Come on. Get off me. Stupid banshees. Bethra, okay, Satan. Oh wow, that's actually tough. I don't know if Satan can take out. Okay, Flufasus, you pull this rod, give it a good hard yank. We're gonna restore some fog of war here so that the undead don't try to nuke Flufasus with spells, which they love to do sometimes. Well, let's hit them with a few mantle potent spells just so we can uh, kind of soften them up for our main party. Can we add this again? All right, that's good. Wow, very rude. Ouch. Hella rude, I say. Kaboom. Oh, nice. A level up for the fiend. More health for the boy. Very good. Alright, and Bethra Zen, you can just kind of, I guess, stem the tide of undead over here. Go on, like, spook them away, maybe. Alright, uh, we got enough gold, I think. It's about time we hire Siegfried again. And since he was uh, not fond of being a counselor the last time, we're gonna make Siegfried a duke this time. And uh, just give him a gargoyle and. Uh, I guess another cultist, because uh, why not? But since we don't want this cultist to get too crazy, eh, well, we'll think of something. 
For now, let's uh, end the turn. Bethresen is keeping things under control, I feel, fairly well. So... Lufus is going to keep obliterating these big old roads. Rods. No, actually, can be performed. Ah, oh, that's silly. Christ, that's annoying. Um, that was a mistake. Eh, bloody heck. Ouch. I say let's kill this boy first. Wow, of course, just a bit short. <laughs> uh, just my luck. As it were. Whatever. This doesn't matter. Oh, that's right. Betherson has a quicksilver potion. That's. Let's give it to actually Satan. I remember now. We wanted to do that. Because. You want actually Satan to be grow up big and strong, and eventually move to front line. Oh, look at that! So many undudes. Such a big amount of undudes, and they discovered my spy. Of course, oh, of course they did. That's rather unfortunate for us. But, you know, who cares? Uh, let's see. Let's take some potions from uh, Uther slash Bethrizen slash uh, whatever his name is. He appears to have accumulated an enormous amount of loot while we were at it. Uh, it's just lovely. And let's drink this Quicksilver Potion, which increases permanently the initiative of the target unit. And now he has actually said it has 44 initiative, making him very, very spooky indeed. Because, uh, yeah. Sadly, he's maxed out for, at his level for this map, which is fine. But uh, let's send, I suppose, Uther after these boys. Lufus, you will stick your rod in here, and we shall take uh, these big goblins. Big goblins. Goblin, goblin, goblin. Goblin, goblin. Oof, that's a lot of damage on that ogre. Fortunately, they seem to be hell-bent on killing a gargoyle, which works just fine for my purposes. Lovely. What do you do here? You all die long ago, hot skin. Hot skin. Mmm, hot skin. It's fine. Uh, you know what? Uh, can we... Can we perhaps take him out with Siegfried? Yeah. Can we do that? 
just like let me just thief bang this Nosferat a bit and uh, sure let's just do it again for a good measure I don't think the cultist will survive that though so we're gonna get the possessed instead of a cultist because reasons so let's do it let's do it ah Christ we're gonna have to improvise a bit uh, the Nostrad is going to heal himself, so let's just... Uh... Very rude, okay, fine. Siegfried, you kill this fella and this fella. Ow, how rude, come on. Damn it. Siegfried's accuracy needs a bit of a improvement. Whew. But hey, yep, we did this and they leveled up instantly. Which is nice. Because that had, there had a, been a werewolf in that party, so it was worth a hell of a lot of XP. Hot AF indeed. Right on. Oh. We'll have to have Siegfried and Bethresen just kind of defend this perimeter because the undead are just stubbornly pushing through with every turn. Siegfried gained a level at finding. Uh, of course, no, no contest there. Right, Wyvern and Banshee. That's a bit of a dicey situation there. Uh, this will have to be dealt with by Bethrazen, I'm afraid. Way too strong parties. I like how this is a level 1 Leech Queen, but they're like level 6 werewolves and necromancers. And a level 9 shade. Holy shit. It's so crazy. But nothing can uh, stand against the Bethrazen cheese. The quadruple better than gang is unstoppable. Right, we can, uh, we probably cannot. Actually, we might be able to, let's see. Let's see if uh, Siegfried can uh, take out this Banshee. Or we maybe we should try Flufasus. Are you up for a test of your power, Flufusus? Let's uh, send you up against that Banshee. Banshee, Shmanshee. Uh, sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. Bye, Victus. Nice. Oh, they're running. Perfect. There we go. Flufasus leveled up. Flufasus S, rather. Not a Flufasus, but Flufasus S, which is a uh, a female of a Flufasus. A Flufasus has. Fluf gets fluffer. Yes, indeed. Fluf gets fluffer. There's some trolls here, which I don't like at all, but... That's why we have uh, the Flufas. Yes, Flufas is a better name. I say Flufas is a much better name. I agree. Flufas has. Flufas is... Or uh, Flufas has. Mighty troll there. Big old boy. Uh, 
rather painful, which is fine. A ruby, valuable indeed. Oh. Well then, uh... Floof has successfully graduated the new Pierrot's call. The troll appears to have the traditional samurai haircut, according to his portrait. Uh, I think all the green skins in the game, like the orcs, the trolls, the etc, 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 have a kind of a samurai, samurai uh, bend to them. They're all very eastern-ish. Like, the orcs have that Japanese man bun hairstyle, and uh, that's Flufasus gets pathfinding, very good. She actually regenerated completely, which is nice. And we're gonna drop a Mentipotence on her, just so they don't hit her with a spell, which would be very rude. I think they're running out of high level units at this point, because they're just like sending parties with like one shade and a bunch of noobs. Which is which I find hilarious, I frankly find amazingly hilarious. Uh I have no shortage of thieves, so Siegfried, uh Oh no! The thief. My gold! Ah. At least these thieves don't have trust issues like the. like the ones in the Rise of the Elves. Oh, that's gonna be a bit scary. Ouch. Christ. Oh. Fucking hell. Okay, there we go. Ouch. Ouch. Unholy fire, that'll be a lot of damage, I think. That's fine. We survived. Perfect. Aha! And see if we got his marble gargle buddy. Which is nice. Just in case, let's cast a shadow over him, so the AI doesn't try to do something cute and kill him with a summon or something. And, uh, well, we gotta move the Satan over here, start taking out some lizard men. Which is to say, oh wow, ouch, it's gonna hurt. Oh god, look at how much damage they're doing. Ugh. Why did I why did I buff lizard people in this mod? I'm so mad, I'm crazy. Why did I do this? Ah oh gargoyle leveled up. Awesome. That's awesome. Awesome awesome. Okay. Oh my, look at the undudes, swarming in, in droves. Alright, so, Siegfried, we're gonna move you back to town because you're looking a bit uh, red in the face, or rather your berserker is. Bethrazen can... Uh, Okay, Fufasus can take a retreat action over here. And Bethrazen can uh, say hello to these lovely undudes. There we go. Goodbye. 
Etherzen's kill count so far is 35 of 1 battles. Kind of ridiculous, honestly. He is an absolute just anomaly there. Right on. Well, okay. Alright, the Fiend is still a bit red in the face, but I'll just have to suck it up, I suppose. And destroy this ancient temple. Ow. God, these death dragons are so bloody damaging. Ouch. Big, big ouch. 600 gold and a banner of protection. Which is why I took banner bearer. Now they all have plus 10 armor. And, uh, well, that's, re that's it, really. Hey, Flufus, is, where are you? Flufus is, Flufus is doing fine. We're all doing fine. We're all fine here. Oh no, he discovered the spy. Whatever shall I do? Hmm, really? Seriously. Seriously, though. Alright. Satan, you go here. Aha! Uh -huh. Stop! This is the territory of the shir shir shirtless tribe. The shirtless tribe. <laughs> Approach no more or die. The totem, you are nice to us. Thank you. Take this gift. And we got a runestone, which is a pretty meh artifact, but uh, this does increase our armor by another 10 and gives us a bit more bonus HP, so actually Satan is now a very tanky boy. And I guess we could just go and kill them all, but they have lizard men and medusas and I'm not crazy on fighting about fighting those, so let's just let's just get the fuck out of here, you know? Who cares? About, there's nothing good in that shop, so we might as well just skedaddle. Petrazen, attack. Just a bunch of noob lords here. Alright, uh, yeah, that's about alright. You go and shove your big old rod there, please. And uh, what do we have here? Uh, here we have just it's a bunch of uh, noobs and stuff. The banshee is annoying, I suppose. I'll just let him move a bit, a bit closer there. Yeah, that sounds fine. Just to discourage them a bit from uh, attacking my towns, we'll do this. Ah, oh, fucking banshees, I swear. Fucking banshees, I swear. Ah, ha, 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 ha. okay. Hey, I will send the Flufaz back to our main uh, forces. And uh, who shall we attack? I guess maybe this uh, this bitch over here. Oh, they're just running away. That's fine. Christ, that's annoying. Oh well. Oh, 
Aha! Uh -huh. Another level up for the Fiend. He's getting stronger and stronger. Alright. Okay, I'm actually gonna do it like this. Let's see. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Very well, very good. Alright. Can he reach her? He can, but... Not confident he can actually defeat her. That's the thing. Yeah. Because that bloody banshee is... I have no trust in Zikrit's power, unfortunately. He looks like a wuss. And now I'm confident we can take her out. There we go. Nice. Very good. Let's just uh, put some little garrisons here and there. And we can start moving out right about north to our evacuation point with Bethrazen, because we're just about done here. Siegfried, you head over here, Flufas heads over here. Can you reach anyone, Siegfried? No, you cannot. You cannot. So you just go back to town then. Bethrazen can go kill this boy. Just auto battle this, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, you can take this guy probably. Hopefully, I'm not wrong. If I'm drastically wrong, then oof. Oh, yeah, they're running away. Perfect. Christ, uh, that's fine. I love a bit of poison in the morning. Oh, yeah. Very good. Very good indeed. Oh! Christ! I forgot they've uh, blindsided me there a bit. Oh, oops, I feel bad about that. Uh, I didn't notice that uh, Nosferat coming in from from my backside. I've shown him my backside, which was my best side. Uh, let us fairly let us attack this or this or I don't know. Christ. Oh. Well, actually, we should be able to take out this guy fairly easily, I say. Before I get proven bloody wrong by... Oh, the Bethrazen leveled up again. <laughs> He's already level 3. What a champ.
How rude. Very rude indeed, I say. Christ. This initiative is such a dice roll. It's survived. Barely. Uh, just kind of barely survived, yeah, I suppose. Let's retreat Siegfried back to the safety of the town. And uh, use our thieves to... Can we actually do this? Let's try it out. Oh uh, yeah, so we should be able to, I think. Ah, uh, this. Oh wow. Yeah, he's he's staying. He thinks he got this. Ow! What a bastard! He's not afraid of rock landers at all. There we go. Dead, dead, dead. Fufasus is getting some kills. Uh, I'm gonna have to take care of that boy too, somehow. Sooner rather than later, probably. I have here uh, just a bunch of undead. Nothing too terribly bad. Yeah, I guess we'll just... Yeah. Ooh, we actually have enough... a bit of gold there. level ups for our fiend and stuff. Alright, we can stop then. Let's see. Oh, he just took decided to destroy that ruin for some reason. Oh, what a fool. Oh, what a big fool. Uh -huh. What a big foolish fool. Well, uh, I cannot reach him anyway, so... Have to move closer a bit, I suppose. Got some uh, tangos coming from the west, trying to take out Flufas, presumably. Which is fine, because we don't care. All the care is Ow, oh, actually took some damage. That's fine. We can handle that. See. Ooh. Ooh, I know what we're gonna do. Ah oh, Christ, we don't have enough. Really? Yeah, we're just a bit short. Ah oh, Christ. That sucks. That sucks. Uh, Friggin' spies. Uh, 
friggin' undead. Okay. Well. Ugh. Well, bully to him. This is a. Should I do this? Shall we take out the enemy capital with Vethrazen? Is that something we should definitely do as a just maximum over cheese? I think we should. So let's do that. Let's do just that. Nice. Another level up for Siegfried. The sword demon of swording. Sorting. Sorting. Sorting McSword demon. You know what? Uh, where's this vampire fella? Let's paralyze him. While we get closer with our uh, actually Satan. Oh, lovely. Awesome. Well, that goes. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Oh, yeah. The tiny island that is untouched. I'm in, amidst the hellish wasteland. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. I agree. What should we do with this? Uh huh. Is he going to dare attack us? I wonder. He probably is. Let's see. Oh, they have some uh, other reinforcements there, I just noticed. Well, that's where the demons keep their... So, so the demons are like, uh, are like the politicians of... Is that what they are? They're like the... Yeah, I can see that. I can definitely see that. Let us risk Flufes and uh Ha ha ha. No, you're not running away, my friend. Very nice. Another uh victory for the Flufa. Gonna cover the floof's approach a bit with a Baliar. Block the AI from uh, trying to target. That sounds good. Alright, secret gain the level, he gets a leadership point. And 
uh, he gets a fiend, actually. Uh, maybe I'm, nah, he gets a double gargle, of course, because he likes the gargles. So he will get to gargle some more. There we go. And uh, for now, this is good. Now this is a bit spooky, I admit. What with the gargles and whatnot. But I think we got this. their armor, burn them a little bit. They don't like being burned, do they? No, sir, they don't. Actually, we have more magic, so let's, let's just keep burning them. Oh yeah, they're looking pretty burned. How to get burned, they ask. Well, you'll see how it get burned. Yes, Alright. Yeah, my main concern is that they have a vampire, which is a pretty strong unit. Most importantly, though, he has a drain life overflow, so any HP he steals from us will be healed to him and his party, so... This was why I was so, you know, a little paranoid with debuffs and everything. But it looks like we actually have them uh, fairly handled, so we're just gonna, I'm gonna wait. Ah, there we go. Yeah, and Satan has won once again. Satan is victorious. Oh, pestilence scroll, life potion, zombie orbs, sapphire. Ooh, treasure. Treasure, treasure, much treasure. Now, shall we take out the enemy capital though this turn? I wonder. Because this is a thing we can do. But, uh, will we do it? That's the question. Mm hmm. Well, I guess we'll see. Da, da, da. Make it so. Alright, you have a secret has spoken. The capital will fall. They will, will we will burn them and slay them and Oh, they're actually shooting better than with rocks. Ouch. Very rude. Silly silly sods. Now, shall we attack this guy with a... No, actually, Flufas is a poor choice. Because they have a lot of ranged units there. We're just gonna use a... Uh... Let's take back the town with actually Satan. Ooh, another level off of the Fiend. She's doing quite a lot of damage now. Truly formidable. Truly formidable. That's another Baroness here. i gonna just name her Red Face. Uh, whatever. Let's just uh, take out this rod because I'm uh... right. Very good. Now the problem, of course, is we don't have any defense potion, so it might be a bit hairy. But uh, let's see if we can actually do this with no buffs and just better resins, uh pure balls. Oh. I might not be enough, I'm afraid. Alright, we might have this in the bag, I think. Oh, 
Oh my god, do we actually are we actually gonna do this? We might we are gonna actually do this. Holy crap. Oh boy. <laughs> We're actually gonna take out the capital with no buffs. That's so insane. This one doppelganger might die. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, he's dead. Oh well, that's fine. I still have three more. He just got like gang banged by three evil children. Well, four initially, but the one like ran out of stamina. This is very spicy indeed, you're right. <laughs> uh, this is unbelievable. No buffs, and it's just massacre. I'm not even touching the keyboard, it's just like it's a lot of battle. Uh. It kind of sounds like they're they're giving Ash Gun a suck, like they're really sucking him dry. Uh, this is unbelievable. All right, I lost one doppelganger, which is uh ridiculously good. And we captured a bunch of resources. Got a spell to summon skeletons, pestilence, ice storm, weakness, evil end, plague, curse of Nigrail. Ooh, boy. Well, yeah. Hello there. <laughs> oh, this is so silly. Well, GG, undead. So much for the undeadness. Oh no, he provoked my mage leader for you. That's a bit unusual. Very rude. And now re-dead, yeah. Uh, my thief got attacked. Oh no. Oh no, they are now slaughtering my thieves as a revenge. They're going berserk now. <laughs> That's fine. They are... on dudes. It's just uh, ooh. they actually took some damage there. Interestingly enough, weird. All right. So what about Bethrazen? Is he? Yeah, he's fine. That's the temple must be built. Oh, I haven't built a temple yet. Uh, I keep forgetting that. I guess I'm just too secular. Yeah, see, you know if you know what I mean. Too secular for my shirt. The, now the invaders are converging on Siegfried. They want to suck his blood, presumably, as he's a. Uh... Oh Christ! Really? Very rude. Ah, yeah, that's right. I'm immune. I keep forgetting about that. Zeke is gonna get attacked by these boys, I, I presume. That's my, my expectation anyway, so 
hopefully he can uh, hold them off inside of that town with the defense bonus and everything. Oh, Christ. Oh, no! Oh, no! I'm sorry, Floofus, we're gonna lose you. Fuck. <laughs> oh, damn it, these bastards. That's three necromancers. Yep. Holy shit. Ah, uh, no. God damn it. Uh, no. Ah, shit. Yeah, I forgot that the party is going berserk and moves around. I thought it was gonna, like, stay there, but oof. Yeah, my bad. Oops. Ah, uh, shit. Oh. We will avenge the floof, yes. We are going to do that right now. Against that uh, nasty party of three necromancers. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, now they're going after Siegfried too. The bastards. Christ. It's very nice, nasty. Very unpleasant. Damn it, we gotta avenge the floof now. Whereas the nasty party, uh, they're a bit, a bit away is off. It's fine now. We got this. Plan B, huh? Plan B is always good. Yeah, but anyway, I would better than destroy that enemy town completely, which is kind of funny. Zero chances for them. It is hilarious. I've never seen a Capital Guardian like get taken out unbuffed. It's bloody lowly. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. Because this is a paralysis unit. Oh, thank God, the gargoyle has a ward against mine. Secrets hold in fort just fine. Oh, there we go, bloody necromancer! We gotta avenge the Flufuses. There's that fucking necromancer. The romancer of necks. Let's debuff them a little bit. Reduce their chance to hit. Smack them a bit with mind. Damage. Reduce their damage some more, reduce their initiative, reduce their armor, there we go. It's quite a strong party so I'm being careful. I don't want my revenge for the floof. Just go in vain. All oh, right, it's I forgot. Aha! There we go. Satan has avenged Floof. Excellent. Uh, 
Is that a is that a is that a quote from uh, Morrowind? <laughs> I knew it. Ah. Oh, darn it. Oblivion, huh? Oblivion was a good game. Oof. Not great. It was like way too simplified as for, for my taste, but still pretty good. Plunder. How did they plunder this shop? Ah, there we go. We could have bought some of these potions to take on the capital, but have a banner of precision increases. Uh, yes, let's grab that just in case we want to. Right. Let's obliterate this thief. I don't like his face. Just kind of disintegrate him. Very nice. And start moving Metras into our goal. Hit our escape route, so to speak. All right. Okay. Bethrezen, Bethrezen, Bethrezen. Oh, there's an ogre that we apparently the undead decided not to kill. Oh, it's a big fat ogre. That's fine. Nothing much. Oh, oh yeah, it's an ambush. That's right. Oof. Uh-oh. You have fallen into our trap. Prepare to meet your fate, false prophet. Insolent creatures, you believe the powers of hell will stop for death? Your rotting flesh will burn like all the rest. And they got like some teleporting uh, fellows here, one of which has a death in their party. Now two of them have a death in their party. Now, death is quite spooky. He's the prophet of prophet, but is he though? That's right. Given to the void, indeed. Given to the void, indeed. Right. Of course, uh, normally these units would attack me, but because we destroy their capital, they're basically brainless, so they just kind of stand there, which is hilarious. So we're just like gonna... We are the nerds indeed, the nerd lords and the like. Well, and there's the escape route. We have arrived, Master. Bethrezen will be safe here. Now let us rebuild our troops to honor Bethrezen's name. The mission has been successfully completed. Yeah. Bethrezen and the legions barely escaped the vicious assaults of the world. Barely escaped. <laughs> yeah, sure. An empire. For Bethrezen, weak and trapped in his infant's body, would certainly not pass unnoticed by the enemies of the legions. Barely escaped. <laughs> ah, yeah. Just um, very narrowly after destroying their capital and 
you know, completely obliterating their uh, everything. Let's uh, take actually Satan to our next mission. Runestone, Banner of Protection. Oh, uh, say, where is the uh, unholy chalice? The odds were against us, Tana. That we did it. Yes, that's exactly exactly what I thought about. <laughs> Every time. Right, we got Tomb of Water and Tomb of Unlife to bring with us. So I'll grab this Tomb of Unlife. It'll be handy. Very handy indeed, I say. But extra money never hurts. It will only get more difficult. <laughs> ah, good old Lotus. All right. <laughs> 